the next drug i am going to explain is about the drug called as kapikachu so it is called as kapikachu because it produces itching itching sensation to the monkeys so kapi naam kachu so as it produces itching sensation to the monkeys it is called as kapikachu the botanical name of the plant kapikachu is mucuna pruriens mucuna pruriens mucuna is named after the scientist whereas pruriens means one which causes the itching sensation so the plant the plant is a climber so it is a climber so it generally grows in the rainy season so as it grows particularly during rainy season it is called as it is having the synonym like praurushayini it is called by the name praurushayini then moving on to the particular morphology so coming to the morphology of the plant kapikachu it's a annual twiner it's a annual twiner the branches are very slender the branches as you can make out they are very slender the branches are very slender and there are more or less hairy the branches even the branches also are having the minute hairs on it and the later on the hairs fall off and they become glabrous the later on the hair falls and become glabrous coming to the leaves the leaves are compound usually the leaves are compound so this is the whole leaf this is the whole leaf one single leaf so leaf is compound that is trifoliately compound so you can find 1 2 3 three leaflets that's why it is called as trifoliately compound the petiole is very long so petiole is very long and as it belongs to the papillionaceae member so the petiole petiole at the base is slightly swollen swollen at the base so the petiole then moving on to the leaflets the leaflets are very thin the leaflets are very thin or it is called as membranous leaflets membranous then the terminal leaflets come coming to the terminal leaflets so small they are usually smaller in size the terminal one are usually smaller in size whereas the leaves on the sides leaves on the sides are having uneven shape so that is this is the mid rib portion on the one side you find small portion and on another side the bigger portion of the leaf can be seen the shape of the leaf is usually you can call it as rhomboid shape and the apex is acute or you can call it as acuminate the apex is acute or acuminate moving on to the inflorescence of the plant kapikachu so the flowers are arranged in a elongated racemous inflorescence they are arranged in elongated racemous inflorescence almost 15 to 30 cm long almost 15 to 30 cm long the flowers are usually solitary are 2 to 3 are arranged at a node and the coming to the flower so the flower is papillionaceous in nature that is you can find one standard petal this is the standard petal then two keel petals sorry two winged petals so these two on the side are the winged petals and the later one that is one keel petal one keel petal so inside you can find the stamens the flowers are very showy and purple in color moving on to the fruit of kapikachu so fruits are again arranged so the fruits are covered with dense hairs the fruit is a pod it's a pod and it is covered with dense hairs so that's why it is called as uh, kapikachu uh, the hairs are rough and it causes itching sensation and these fruits are usually almost like s shaped 
so the fruits are almost yes shaped so usually they are initially they are having the color uh, uh, pale brown to pale brown color and later on they attain steel gray color steel gray color and inside the fruit inside the fruit you find the seeds seeds so as it is very fleshy so we cannot open but inside you find seeds so usually we find around 5 to 6 seeds inside the fruit the plant capicachu as it is covered by the roma so it is called as capiroma phala atma gupta so the fruit the seeds are very difficult to procure but the seed is the useful part in case of capicachu fruits are used mainly for the purpose of vrushya vajikarana they are balya in nature and the seeds contain specific chemical constituent called as l dopa which is the precursor of dopamine so it is very best in treating parkinsonism so the kapikachu is generally used in treating the vata vyadi kampavata particularly kampavata and apabahuka as well as it is used as used for the vajikarana purposes and also for balya brahmana Thank you.